Work to restore the Nepali Coast State Wilderness Park to its true wilderness character continued during a three-day law enforcement operation this week. A dozen officers from the DLNR Division of Conservation and Resources Enforcement and the Department of Public Safety Sheriff Division arrested at least 11 people for being in a closed area without a permit in the Kalalau area of the park. A 20-year-old man who could not produce an identification was handcuffed and flown out of the park and booked on charges at the Kauai Police Department. So far in May, a total of 28 people have been arrested for failing to have the permit required for traveling past the two-mile marker on the famed Kalalau Trail. During law enforcement efforts over the past two years, more than 200 people have been arrested. We still have work to do, commented Doe Care Enforcement Chief Robert Farrell. This, his first trip to the Nepali coast, since becoming state conservation enforcement chief, he joined his officers as they hiked up the rugged Kalalau Valley in search of illegal squatter camps. On Wednesday, they located numerous ones. At two, they pulled up small marijuana plants. At one, they confiscated an illegal crossbow. Both camps are well established and elaborate. A lot of infrastructure, a lot of stuff that was packed in, some environmental damage. Uh, there was an illegal crossbow uh, in one of the camps, so they may have been poaching uh, the local wildlife, goats, pigs. Uh, we found uh, some small uh, marijuana starter plants, and then we found uh, larger marijuana actually budding plants. And so there were several subjects in the area. They had no permits, uh, in addition to being inside the illegal camping area. And uh, it just was a, not something we like to see back here, just something very, uh, very detrimental to the environment. This one is where squatters had recently posted a web video depicting a brazen party and all the comforts of home. It has a pizza oven, an enclosure with a queen-size bed, what appeared to be an alcohol still, and an extensive system of solar and battery-powered lights for its marijuana growing operation. Well, the thing about this place is it's very, very remote, logistically challenging to both put officers in here, keep officers in here in any kind of sustained effort. So we're really just back here trying to spot check uh, when we can. And uh, so it's a, it's a very difficult, logistically challenging place to enforce. There's no communications. Uh, satellite phones are the only way to establish contact with anybody uh, for emergency services or any type of uh, uh, law enforcement uh, actions that we need to take. And then once we uh, have people back here, getting them out of the area safely is a big challenge. So uh, it's a very challenging environment to work in. There's a lot of places for people to run and hide uh, and so we're seeing a lot of uh, folks that have set up some very established camps, some caches of equipment and food and supplies so that these folks can survive back here for a very long time and it makes it very difficult for us to come in one, two or even a three day operation to try and cover all the terrain that we need to and uh, try and uh, contact the people that are back here. Doe Care plans to increase its frequency of patrols, which unfortunately means shorting attention in other areas. The division fully supports the Division of State Parks' continuing efforts to secure funding for dedicated full-time staff in Hawaii's largest and most remote park to provide education, outreach, emergency response assistance, and law enforcement notification. I have uh, flashbacks to California and seeing the national forests and the state parks there uh, being degraded by illegal marijuana cultivation. Very similar environment, uh, you know, very challenging area to work, but that's my first inclination. When I come back, that's the perspective I see is how do we uh, catch people, get them out, and uh, hold them accountable for being back there illegally. And then on top of that, the biggest problem is I'm not against camping. And I think people should be able to come back here and enjoy just the most unique, one of the most unique environments on the planet. However, they need to do it in a legal way. 
and they, we need to follow the rules and regulations. And the people that we contacted yesterday are just impacting the landscape, uh, disrespecting the cultural significance of the, some of the items that are back here. And it's just, uh, it's very disturbing to me to see that. The Nepali Coast Enforcement Operations are fully supported by DLNR leadership. Chair Suzanne Case says law-abiding local residents and visitors from all over the world get permits to make the challenging and rewarding 11-mile one-way hike to the state-designated camping area at Kalalau Beach. We're charged with determining the carrying capacity of both the natural resource and man-made features there and want to ensure that visitors to this incredible place take away positive memories. Many have planned for a lifetime to do the Kalalau backpack, and we intend to honor their dreams and accomplishments by ensuring Nepali is a true wilderness.